Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you have just tuned in, you are watching a Morning Rush once again. This morning, inshallah, we're going to be focusing on Sufism and via our Cape Town studios, we are joined by brother Harun Michael Sugic, who is a native of Santa Barbara in California and it studied at the UCLA and the California Institute of the Arts. He was initiated into a traditional Sufi order in 1972 and since that time he has studied Sufi doctrines and practice with spiritual masters across the Arab and Islamic world. He has also lived in Makkah al Mukarramah for 23 years and is the author of Living in Makkah, a children's book published by McDonald Publishers. Palaces of India, a travel book published by Pavilion Books and a full-length feature documentary on the life of King Faisal of Saudi Arabia. Faisal, the legacy of a king which had its world premiere at the BAFTA Awards in 2012. We are joined on the line to, to Brother Harun Sugij. We say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and hope you are doing well this morning. Wa well, alaikum salam. I'm just fine. Thank you very much. And thank you for letting me... Um, speak to you on this on this program thank you brother Harun from your intro we've seen you spend about 23 years in Makkah al Mukarramah can you tell us about your life and experience of those 23 years in Makkah it was uh, it was fantastic for me it was uh, uh, a, 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 you know a gift from God I can say in fact the, the I, I came to Makkah in a very unusual way um, th there was uh, those of uh, those of the audience who are old enough will, may remember that the Haram Sharif was um, uh, under siege by extremists, and um, uh, it was a very very disturbing time. And so I asked God, please let me see your house before uh before before i die i it was we were very worried because the harem was shut down it had never happened before in, in modern history and uh, uh uh 5 minutes later i got a call from someone who i didn't know and he said i i'm inviting you to mecca to come to to saudi arabia and uh i i probably wouldn't have said yes except that I just asked God to, to send me to, to, to see the house. And I ended up living there for like 23 years. I loved it. Uh, I loved the, uh, the haram. I, lo I loved being around in Mecca. And I, I enjoyed living in, in Saudi Arabia at that time because it was um, a time when there was the oil boom, so people were flooding into the country. And it was, um, it was, a, it was a fascinating time. And there was a lot of change, and uh, I was able, <clears throat> at that point, to meet many um, great uh, uh, saints, uh, who because they converge in on Mecca and on Medina, Al Munawara, and uh, so that period of time in my life was very rich and very full, and uh, I'm thankful for it. How did this experience influence your writing then? Uh, it had a great influence on my writing. In fact, the, mo the biggest influence on my writing are the writings of great Sufi scholars and Sufi masters. And it, it's the way that they wrote about um, uh, uh, existence and about uh, and they and they the the Sufi tradition and the Muslim tradition in fact because I don't make any distinction between Tasawwuf and 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 Islam uh, is full of uh, stories and storytelling um, and so I was very influenced by that and also by the oral tradition of of uh, that that one finds in the company of great. Uh, men of God and great scholars, where they teach you through, through s stories and through and uh, through, um, uh, and also always referring t to other great scholars, so they're not arrogating to themselves um, uh, y y their the knowledge that they have. They're they're always um, giving credit to someone else, and I like that. Looking at your books, Brother Harun, then what is your general theme or message in your books? Um, basically, I think Muslims today, young 
Muslims have lost confidence. And there, there are reasons for that. There are a multi, multitude of reasons, but basically they've, they, they've lost the, the sense that of, of intimacy with, with uh, God. And uh, also because of the frankly heretical um, uh, theology that's being spread all over the world, um, <clears throat> which conflates sin with disbelief. Uh, the, the Muslims feel that they, they have no access to the divine. Muslims uh, have, have come to l believe that God is up, they're down here, and there's no uh, interaction except that you behave yourself, do all your prayers, do everything right, and then you go to heaven or if you don't do that, you go to hell. So it's very simplistic. And in fact, um, God is, is merciful. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad said, if you did not sin, God would destroy you and replace you with the people who sinned so that they can ask forgiveness and turn away from their sins. And this is something that's been lost. So um, my books, talk about this, this process and how people change. I'm very interested in, 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 in transformation and how people um, uh, can move from one, uh, one state of being to another state of being, whether it's being uh, a, a sinner or being someone who's completely lost or someone who is a good person but who then uh, enters a kind of a more transcendent reality and becomes close to, much closer to God and has an experience of intimacy. So those are things that are very, inter you know, very uh, interesting to me and it's what influences my writing and what I write about, basically. In the introduction, we mentioned that you did study Sufism. Do you want to tell us exactly what is Sufism? Well, Sufism is, you, you have in Islam, you have the deen al-Islam, the way of Islam, which is the externalities of Islam, the Sharia. You have deen al-Iman, which is the, the way of faith. And this is belief, so that you, you, um, you, you, have, a, a, you have a faith in God that, that's more than just, it's more than just the outside, but it's something that's in the heart. But then you have Deen at Ihsan. Deen at Ihsan it was defined by the Prophet والسلام, as to worship God as if you see him, for while you do not see him, surely he sees you. And this sense of the presence of God um, is what uh, Sufism is about, what Tasawwuf is about. And Tasawwuf has always been integrated into uh, classical Sunni Islam. Um, uh, my friend, uh, Sheikh Abdul Hakim Murad from Cambridge, he recently gave a, a, a fascinating uh, lecture on, on this subject, and he, bas he, he proved through scholarship that you actually can't be a Sunni Muslim without uh, taking, t t taking into account uh, Deen al-Ihsan, which is Tasawwuf, which has popularly become known as Sufism. Looking at your own personal experiences, Brother Harun, then what led you to the Sufism or the Sufi order? Uh, I was attracted to, to, to Tasawwuf before I knew anything about Islam, frankly, because uh, I'm from the West, I'm from California. And so I had no knowledge of, of uh, Tasawwuf. And uh, my cousin, God rest his soul, um, uh, was an omnivorous reader. He read everything. I don't think he believed anything he read, but he, he read many things. And he started reading books on Sufism, and he passed these books to me. And I was immediately attracted to to uh, Tasawwuf, and um, I went through a period where I was searching and looking for Sufis, and I found people that were that said they were Sufis, but they really weren't. And finally, I, I and I came to a point of crisis because I felt like I I needed a a, um, a path, like a like um, instruction and and a and a form to follow. And uh, alhamdulillah, um, I met 
Muslims who were also Sufis. And uh, when I, as soon as I saw the Salat, the prayer, I, I, you know, I, I knew immediately that I had to, I had to uh, not become a Muslim and then take on the, 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 uh, the path as a, as a disciple of, of, of a sheikh. Finally, looking at the condition of the Muslim Ummah in general in today's times, Brother Harun, any parting advice for our viewers? Well, uh, my advice to any Muslim is to remember God and to try to, uh, in, in, when in, in the process of, of performing your obligatory um, prayers and, and fasting and, and invocations, that you let the meaning sink in to, 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 to uh, perform these things with vigilance, to perform your, your ritual actions with awareness and vigilance and remembrance, because this is how you achieve remembrance of God. When you're praying to God, pray to God with awareness that He is present. And seek and if you, if you if you become forgetful, then you remember again, and then to amplify that and extend it through your day when you're on a bus or when you're walking down a road or when you're you know s sitting with your family, remember God in every respect. And this ultimate this is fundamentally what Sufism is about. And when you when you reach a certain stage, you 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 probably want to have a guide, someone who can guide you. And these guides must be following the Islamic law, Sharia, and they must be, you know, not misbehaving themselves. Uh, and it, that's it. It's, it's a very simple process. And the main process is to remember God and remember with meaning and, uh, and, and, and deepen that meaning and deepen that awareness. Brother Harun, we say Jazakallah for joining us this morning here on Morning Rush. Please do remember us in your du'as. We wish you the best for all your endeavors in the future. We say Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Wa Alaikum Salam and thank you very much for having me. Thank you. That was Brother Harun Michael Sugij, a native of Santa Barbara, California, a person who has studied at the California Institute of the Arts and at the UCLA, and also a traditional, who was initiated into the traditional Sufi order in 1972, and since that time has studied the Sufi doctrines and practice with spiritual masters across the Arab and Islamic world. He lived in 23 years in the sacred city of Mecca, and also the author of many books. You are watching Morning Rush, keep watching. Up next, the news followed by the weather.